On RTV6, police have arrested two men in connection with a stolen SUV taken from a family who died in a house fire over the weekend. And tonight, we have confirmed that officers found the Guerra family vehicle this afternoon after a family friend spotted it near 32nd and Station Streets just a few hours ago. And tonight, 29-year-old Jeremy Atkins is facing charges of vehicle theft. Like we've been reporting all week, all six members of the family died in a fire on Olney Street Saturday morning. And tonight, dozens gathered to honor their lives and memory. Drew Smith attended the service and has more on how the family is giving back even after their deaths. For the last four days, members of the community have been coming here to Olney Street to remember the Guerra family, the six people that tragically died in the house fire last Saturday. They've been bringing stuffed animals, flowers, prayer candles, a crucifix, anything they can to try to show support and show that they're remembering this tragic loss. And earlier tonight, hundreds stood right here to hold hands, to cry, and to have a prayer vigil. Mayor Greg Ballard bowing his head in prayer, along with dozens who came together tonight, led by pastors from the Latino community, they hugged and consoled each other. It's devastating for the family, and when you do it alone, it's hard. So, uh, you know, I called a few pastors around and I said, hey, we gotta show them that they're not alone, that we need one another. As the surviving family members mourn their tragic loss, there is something that gives them strength. Through organ donation, the lives of many people have been saved. And not to go into the whole list, uh, but with Fuentes, his heart was transplanted into a four-year-old uh, four that needed a heart. And that is, you know, it'll always be a loss. They're always, they will always be in our heart. But to know that that child is now living also. Sandra Lopez says, make no mistake, she and the other members of her family are grieving terribly right now, but knowing that the organ donation has helped save the lives of others is helping to keep this family going. Reporting on the east side, Drew Smith, RTV6.